Hi guys. So today we bring you the story of an 82 years old man who was shot dead by his younger brother. Now you won't believe what caused that. This sad incident occurred in Okunoeze, Uruagu, Newe in Anambra state, precisely at number seven Udenri Crescent in Uruagu in Anambra state. So this man's daughter, who goes by the name Betty Onalife Oji, cried out on her Facebook page and she is currently calling for justice to be um, served all parties involved in this um, whole saga. According to Betty, her father, who was 82 years old at the time of his death, was the first son of his family and he's got three other brothers who goes by the name Obiora Oji who is the second son and Peter Oji who is the third son and Anthony Oji the last son of the family. She did state that her father being the first son was entitled to the land and he divided the land amongst his brothers so they could build their village houses. And they all built their village houses on the land, making them to all live within one compound. And within that compound, we understand from Betty's write-up that there are also tenants who live in that compound. She stated that Mr. Peter Oji, who is the third son of the family, has not been paying his um, light bills and that made her father to disconnect his light and in anger, Mr. Peter Oji picked his gun and shot his older brother, who happens to be Betty's father, on the 30th of August 2022. And the 82 years old man died, sadly, sadly. According to Betty, her father would have turned 83 on the 29th of October 2022 if this sacrilege didn't happen. So there's actually a background story to what happened on the 30th of August, 2022. Going by Betty's story, after her dad divided the land amongst his brothers so they could build their village houses, they, they were not quite satisfied, probably with the sharing formula or something, but we understand since the division there has been conflict between her father and his brothers and there have been constant threats um, by her uncles to her father. She stated that um, in December 2016, just before her mother's burial in January 2017, her uncle Mr. Peter Oji shot his gun in the air threatening to shoot her dad. So it's not so much of a surprise that he turned out to be the one who killed the 82 years old man eventually. So it's more like he carried out his threat eventually. She also stated that early this year, the last son of the family, Mr. Anthony Oji, went to her father's house to her father's farm in front of the compound where he was at the time and he used a machete on him pushed him to the ground he had several bruises on his body and a large cut on his head he did that before the tenants intervened so it appears this family war has been ongoing as she also stated that mr peter Oji, who killed her father um had his wife to hide the gun which he used in killing her father and she also stated that his wife has always been in the habit of verbally abusing her dad accusing her dad of being an occultic man who killed all his wives 
and after her husband murdered his older brother she picked the gun which he used and hid it so when the community the, the, the crowd from the village gathered she refused to bring out the gun but for fear that they were going to set the house up least she was forced to bring out the gun from where she had hidden it we understand that she was handed over to the vigilante and we do not know if mr peter oj has been arrested by the police but if the police have arrested him then thumbs up to them and if they did we call on the police to ensure that this matter is not swept under the rug to ensure that um, justice is served and seen to be served to all parties involved it's sad that um this young lady who called for justice wrote that she's now an orphan because of what her uncles or her uncle had done i mean that really didn't have to happen and we also understand that there are two sides to every story or even more sides to a story and there may be another side to this version of the story but it is also known that no matter how valid your story your own side of the story is the very moment you take laws into your hands it is as good as losing any strength for your side of the story because she stated that the umuna had intervened on this matter and they, they they resolved it and found her father to be the person the owner of the the piece of land which is causing all the conflict so it it appears that the the brothers of her father her uncles were not satisfied with the outcome of the umuna's intervention as they had to resort to this terrible terrible action i'm wondering why people have thrown their humanity away and it has become so so easy to to take life out of another human being it's even more nauseating saying that even siblings are not as afraid to to take life out of their own blood or for what it's sad really and this is our condolence sent to betty on alife orji and we really do hope that justice is served to you your deceased dad and to the society at large also um in a video that was shared on betty's page we could see her father while alive talking in that video and he stated clearly that when he departs from this world he wouldn't want his brothers any of his brothers to come close to his corpse nor close to any of his properties and we sincerely hope that his wishes will be respected as it were so guys take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of your emotions be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always be safe. Till I bring you our next video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, share it, and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I remain Dr. Sigeo Lukun, and I love you all.